This summer, you ladies will be wearing gay throw-around jackets and matchless, strapless swimsuits that expose more skin. That's why you'll want to be a bearskin beauty, beautiful all over. So use big, thrifty, bath-sized palm olive soap in tub and shower. See if regular cleansing with palm olive doesn't make your skin softer, more alluring. For palm olive's famous complexion care all over, for bare skin beauty, get bath-sized palm olive soap today. Ladies and gentlemen, Dennis Day. Dennis Day is brought to you by Colgate Dental Cream and Luster Cream Shampoo. Colgate Dental Cream to clean your breath while you clean your teeth. Luster Cream Shampoo for soft, glamorous, dream girl hair. The Dennis Day Show with Barbara Eiler, B. Benadera, Dink Trout, Charles Dant and the orchestra, and yours truly, Vern Smith, is written by Frank Galen and stars our popular young singer in A Day in the Life of Dennis Day. Here's Dennis to sing Taking Miss Mary to the Ball. Jog along, Mr. Dobbin, and keep this carriage a bobbin. We can't be late, for she has her date. We're taking Miss Mary to the ball. My, oh my, but she's pretty, the sweet pretty. How grand she'll look when her picture's took. We're taking Miss Mary to the ball. Her best girlfriend is her boyfriend's sister. He's old enough now to call him mister. He's never been personal and he's never kissed her. But when she was away, he said he missed her. Jog along, Mr. Dobbin, and keep this carriage a bobbin. We can't be late, for it's her first date. We're taking Miss Mary, a very merry Mary. We're taking Miss Mary to the ball. Colgate Dental Cream cleans your breath while it cleans your teeth. No other toothpaste does a better job of cleaning teeth than Colgate Dental Cream. For Colgate Dental Cream has a safe polishing agent that cleans your teeth both gently and thoroughly, brings out their natural sparkle and beauty. You can actually see and feel the difference. And scientific tests prove that Colgate Dental Cream cleans your breath while it cleans your teeth. Yes, actual scientific tests prove conclusively that in seven out of ten cases, Colgate's instantly stops unpleasing breath that originates in the mouth. Colgate Dental Cream is famous for its wonderful wake-up flavor, too. Nationwide tests of leading toothpastes prove that Colgate's is preferred for flavor over every other brand tested. Yes, preferred over every other brand tested. And no wonder, for Colgate Dental Cream is the result of constant effort to produce the finest toothpaste in the world today. For cleaning teeth, for flavor, for sweetening breath. So see if you don't agree with the millions who have made Colgate Dental Cream America's favorite toothpaste. Try Colgate Dental Cream to bring out the natural sparkle and beauty of your teeth for a wake-up flavor you'll thoroughly enjoy. And always use Colgate Dental Cream after you eat and before every date to clean your breath while you clean your teeth. Success is a matter of psychology, a state of mind. Act like a man of affairs and you'll soon become a man of affairs. The words seemed to leap from the magazine as they caught the eye of our young hero, Dennis Day. Of course, so that's why success has eluded him all these years. Immediately, he put on his very best suit. Well, let's be truthful about that, his only suit. 
his nicest tie, his best suit of underwear, there I won't give in, and took a bus downtown to the bank where he demanded to see the president himself. My goodness, what can he be up to? Our assets, did you say, Mr. Day? That's what I said. I want to know the assets of this bank. Why, according to our latest financial statement, they amount to four million dollars. How about your liabilities? Naturally, they come to four million, too. Hmm, just barely keeping your head above water, huh? <laughs> May I know the object of these questions, Mr. Day? Sure, I'm going to open up a checking account. All us big shots have checking accounts, only I want to make sure i got a safe bank. I think you'll find us reliable in every way. Well, i got to admit you've been pretty made a good, pretty good impression on me in the past. You sent me a calendar last Christmas, and so far it's been right every month. Well, thank you. Boy, and what pictures on it. April. <whistles> May. <whistles> June. <whistles> Gee, I can hardly wait for July. I have news for you, Mr. Day. It's a picture of a boy scout rubbing two sticks together. Oh, gosh, no more sailboats? <whistles> No, no, they're obviously too inflammatory. Now, suppose we get down to business. How much were you planning to put into this checking account? Oh, everything. My entire fortune. I want to transfer it from my other bank. Well, really? Sure. Here, you can count it yourself. The tail on screws. The... Uh... <laughs> A piggy bank, Mr. Day? There's almost $7 in it. Every cent I have, saved up by skipping breakfast and going without lunches. My boy, I like your spirit. And I'll be glad to take your account. Here's your checkbook. Gee, thanks. I'm a big shot at last. Only, you're sure that the bank won't fold up on me? Son, I have my own account here, and if I trust it, I'm sure you can. Why, I'll bet the cigar I'm smoking costs more than you've made all week. Oh, yeah? I wouldn't be too sure of that. How much does it cost? Well, maybe I was a little hasty. Fifty cents. Maybe I was a little hasty, too. You were... <laughs> Dennis. Oh, hello, Mildred. What are you doing? Oh, my old high school needs a new gym. They sent letters to all us alumni asking for contributions, so I wrote them out a check. I've got a checking account now, you know. So you've told me about 30 times. How much did you... Good heavens. Pay to the order of Benjamin Franklin High School $50,000? Oh, that's just a practice check. I'm not sending them quite that much. Well, how much are you sending them? 75 cents. <laughs> See, here's the check all made out. Gee, sure was a thrill to write that other one, though. I'm still shaking from it. Well, who knows? Maybe someday you'll be able to afford that kind of contribution. I hope so. I sure think a lot of that school. Gee, this letter made me feel so sentimental I got out my old yearbook. Really? Oh, golly, let's see it. Here it is. That's my picture right there. See? Why, Dennis, I didn't know you wore braces on your teeth. Oh, those aren't braces. I used to like shooting spitballs, and that's where I hid the rubber bands. <laughs> oh, Who's the funny-looking girl next to you? Oh, that's Gertrude Boguglio. She was my first girlfriend. <laughs> but those buck teeth and that stringy hair. And she's even cross-eyed. How could you go with her? Well, I didn't know much then. I thought girls were supposed to look that way. <laughs> oh, I see. The bald-headed man in the front of the class is Professor Jensen, our science teacher. He used to like me. Said I had a great head for science. <laughs> Yeah, he was always trying to get me to leave it to them. <laughs> Gee, I sure used to laugh at his jokes. He was always kidding like that. Oh, you didn't flunk his course, did you, Dennis? Oh, no, but I was a little lucky. The fellow I sat behind decided to write all the answers on the front of his shirt the night before the final exam. Oh, he did? Yeah, but he made a mistake and wrote them on the back. I got 96. <laughs> well, I shouldn't wonder. I'd have had 100 if he hadn't worn his pants so high. <laughs> Well, I'd better get busy filling out the questionnaire that goes along with the check. The questionnaire? Yeah. They want to find out just what the alumni are doing. Who's rich and who's famous and who's got a good job. Oh, that's it. Yeah. Hope they're also interested in who's flotsam and who's jetsam. <laughs> well, you'll be doing as well as any of them one of these days. Don't you worry. Well, I'll leave you... Oh, hi, Daddy. Good morning, children. <laughs> I'll see you later, Dennis. Say, what are you so busy with there, Dennis? Oh, I'm filling out a questionnaire for my high school. Let's see. Present situation, unemployed. Unemployed? Why put down a thing like that? Let them think you're a big success. Yeah? Sure. Put down something that sounds important. They won't check. Okay. Present position, wing commander of Honest John's Air Force. 
<laughs> Very good. Now it says married or single. I'll put down married. Successful men are always married. Now children. I'll put down ten. <laughs> ten children? Sure, let them think I'm a big success at everything. <laughs> well, on second thought, I'd tear that questionnaire up and forget it. Yeah, I guess maybe you're right. There's no... Hello, Herbert. Dennis. Good morning, Peachy Pie. Was there anything wrong, Mrs. Anderson? You sound kind of blue this morning. Is it any wonder? How would you feel if you'd been rejected as a member of the Weaverville Ladies' Bridge and Sewing Club? Oh, I'm not built right for it anyway. <laughs> well, I am, and I've been turned down. Those stuck-up women had the nerve to hint that I wasn't in the same social class with them. No, Poopsie. Yes. Oh, I could kill them. Oh, Herbert, I've got a frightful headache. Run down to the drugstore and get me some aspirin, would you? I shall fly, little oomph girl. <laughs> oh, would you drop my letter off on the way, Mr. Anderson? Just that check on the table. Never mind the questionnaire. All right, I'll put it in the envelope. And, Poopsy, don't you worry about those silly women saying that you're out of their social class. No, Mrs. Anderson, they've got a fine right to say that to you. They're just a bunch of gossipy, nosy old hens. And believe me, you're in the same class with them. It came out wrong, but you know what I mean. Well, it looks like the new girl's gymnasium is still as far away as ever, Dean Hutchkiss. Is that the last of the contributions? Well, just one or two more, I'm afraid. Here's one from a Dennis Day. Dennis Day. How much did he contribute last year? Uh, Fifty cents. Uh, and the year before? Uh, we sent him a dollar. <laughs> Let's see. Dennis Day. Yes, I had him in my history class. I'll never forget his final examination paper as long as I live. One question was, what did the United States gain from the Louisiana Purchase? His answer was, do what uh, did he? <laughs> well, we may as well add his few pennies to the collection. Yes. Oh, a check. Hmm? Well, that's funny. Good heavens, look at this. Great Scott, $50,000. Why, it's impossible. I remember this day vividly. He was the only boy here who, after four years of high school, had just enough credits to get into junior high. <laughs> Well, he's obviously a genius at making money. Thanks to him, we've got our girl's gym dean. Yes, we'll invite him here to dedicate it himself. Why, we'll even name it after it. Good. The Dennis Day Memorial Gymnasium. A permanent monument to matter over mine. <laughs> We'll continue this day in the life of Dennis Day in just a moment. Meanwhile, here's Dennis to sing, I Went Down to Virginia. I went down to Virginia, and no one sent for me. I went down to Virginia to see what I could see. Spirits of the state, a guaranteed high test. So I stayed down in Virginia, cause that looked good to me. I went down to Virginia and didn't know a soul. No wonder folks befriend ya, their hearts are made of gold. Why, the civic-minded citizens are all so kind. They see to it you hook a fish on every line. So I stayed down in Virginia, that's how much I've been sold. So bless the day that brought me here, and bless the folks I love so dear. Brother, if you ever plan a coming down this way, you'll find the things are just exactly like I say, and you'll stay down in Virginia, Virginia, USA.
Well, it looks like having a checking account of his own was a little too much for Dennis. By mistake, a practice check he had written for $50,000 was sent to his high school as Dennis's contribution toward a new girl gymnasium. And the delighted school immediately named the gym after Dennis and invited him to come up and dedicate it. Which is a little puzzling to our young hero, since so far as he knows, the check he sent was for 75 cents. Golly, Dennis, I just can't get over it. Gosh, neither can I, Mildred. Imagine them calling it the Dennis Day Memorial Gymnasium. And all you sent them was 75 cents. Well, it can't be the money, Dennis. They must be honoring you because they consider you the average student. They never admitted it when I was there. (laughs) That must be it. And they're trying to show that money means nothing. It's just... Oh, Mother, have you heard the news, Dennis? I know. Your father just told me. I'd like to speak to Dennis alone for a moment, if you don't mind. Why, of course, Mother. I'll see you later, Dennis. Dennis? Yes, ma'am? You know that I've always loved you, don't you? No, ma'am. I do. I do, Dennis. I adore you. Oh, Mrs. Anderson, this is very embarrassing. I'm stuck on your daughter. This isn't a proposal. I just want you to know how I feel about you. You see, there's a little something you can do for me. Oh. (laughs) Yes. You see, those snooty women in the Weaverville Bridge Club I told you about this morning, well, they might not be quite so snooty if I had a gymnasium named after me. You mean you'd like it if they named it after you instead of me? Oh, it's such a little thing to ask, Dennis. But, Mrs. Anderson... Haven't I been like a mother to you, Dennis? Who cleans your room? Who washes your clothes? Who cooks your food? Your husband. (laughs) But who makes him? (laughs) Yeah, that's true. Well, gee, if it means that much to you, Mrs. Anderson... Oh, you dream boy, you doll face. Oh! wish there was something I could do for you in return. Well, if you really mean that... Oh, I do, I do. Well, I've been wanting to talk to you for a long time about the mattress on my bed. Oh, what about it? Could I have one? (laughs) Dean, he's here right now in the ante room. Oh, my gracious, wait till I fix my tie. Uh, How does he look? Like a typical millionaire? Yes, one of those eccentric ones. He's wearing a Mickey Mouse sweatshirt. (laughs) You don't say. Well, show him right in. We mustn't keep him waiting. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, Come right in, Mr. Day. Thank you, Professor. Oh, hello, Dean. My boy, sit down, my son. Do sit down. Uh, Can I offer you a Corona? Oh, no, thanks. I never learned to type. (laughs) I, uh, meant a cigar. Oh, uh, no, thanks. Well, well, this is just like old times back when you were in school, isn't it, Dennis? <laughs> Here I am on one side of a desk and you on the other. Yeah, all we're missing are my mother and father pleading and crying in between. <laughs> oh, we've had our little difficulties, but I never doubted for a minute that you'd make good. I knew it from the excellent marks you used to get in, in geog... Uh, uh, math... Uh, his... Uh, civics? Posture. <laughs> oh, yes, yes, posture, yes. Hey, Dennis, my son, we can't begin to thank you for your magnificent contribution to our gymnasium. Oh, gosh, it was nothing, Dean. Nothing? Your money is going to provide over 300 schoolgirls with the equipment they need so desperately. Oh, really? Gee, the price of bloomers must be way down. <laughs> We're very glad to see you taking it so lightly, my boy. I assure you, your donation is more than we teachers could make in ten years. Honest? You people need legislation even worse than I thought. (laughs) Well, we just want you to know how grateful we are to you for your check. Then I wonder if you gentlemen wouldn't do a favor for me. Instead of calling it the Dennis Day Memorial Gymnasium, could it be named after my landlady, Mrs. Clara Anderson? Your landlady? Why not? Your wish is our command, my boy. The Clara Anderson Memorial Gymnasium, it shall be. Gee, thanks, gentlemen. You'll never know what you've just done for my sacroiliac. (laughs) Well, we're nearly ready for the ceremony, Dennis. Uh, Mrs. Anderson's out there on the stage now, waiting for it to begin. Well, this is going to be a big day in her life, all right. 
Uh, pardon me, Mr. Day? Yes? I'm a reporter on the school paper. Donald Harrington, 49. Really? Gee, you certainly don't look it. <laughs> no, I, I mean, that's my class. Could you answer a few questions for our readers? We kids can learn a lot from a man like you. Yeah, I guess you got something there, all right. Well, go ahead, Sonny. Uh, I'll call you when we're ready, Dennis. Okay, Dean. Now then, Mr. Day, when did you enter and leave this school? Nine in the morning and three in the afternoon. <laughs> no, I... I mean, what was your senior year? Oh, 1939 to 1942. <laughs> I see. Uh, do you think the high school boy should go to college? Oh, no, I think you should leave that to the college boy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, do you believe in sex education in high schools, Mr. Day? Certainly not. I believe every boy and girl should know what sex they belong to before they come in here. <laughs> Mr. Day, do my questions confuse you? Oh, no. Good. Then that leaves only one of us in the mess. <clears throat> but to continue, what do you think of necking in high school? Oh, I think it's more fun at home. I put it down just like you said it. Now, I've got some general questions, too, Mr. Day, okay? Shoot. It's a thought, all right. <laughs> what do you think of labor? Well, on the whole, I'd rather not. Huh? But what I meant was, do you think labor should work longer hours? Oh, no, I think 60 minutes is as long as an hour should be. <laughs> and you can quote me on that. If I did, who'd believe me? I beg pardon? Uh, nothing. Well, thank you, Mr. Day. You've been most amazing. Oh, uh, that's all right. Anytime. All ready for the ceremony, Dennis. They're waiting for you on the stage. Come on. Okay, see you later, Sonny. Gee, look at all the people. What a crowd. Well, there's Mrs. Anderson on the rostrum. Oh, hello, Dennis. Oh, not at all. <coughs> yeah, members of the honored faculty... Alumni, ladies and gentlemen, today, through the generosity of one of our former students, we're about to see our dreams of a new gymnasium materialize. I'd like to present to you now the man who made the Clara Anderson Memorial Gymnasium possible. <laughs> yeah. A man... Uh, a man who, when he attended our school, was outstanding in such activities as... Uh, and, uh, well, he, uh, I give you Mr. Dennis Day. Dean Hotchkiss, members of the faculty, students, ladies and gentlemen, today my school has seen fit to bestow a great honor upon me. Why? Not because I have become rich or famous. Indeed, my contribution to this gymnasium was only 75 cents. But they... Uh, pardon me, Mr. Day. Would you say that again, please? Uh, certainly. Today, my school has seen fit to be yeah, stolen. No, no. Uh, <laughs> uh, down further, where the meat is. You mean the part about my giving 75 cents? You did say that, didn't you? Yeah. And what's this check of yours I hold in my hand for $50,000? Uh, careful, Dean, you're dropping it. Oh, that's all right. It'll bounce right up again. <laughs> Uh, this is your check, isn't it, Mr. Day? Oh, sure, but that's just a practice check. It's no good. You, you mean you don't have $50,000 in the bank? Oh, no, not quite that much. Have you 40000 No. 30000 No. 20000 We'll get there a lot quicker if you start with a buck and work up. <laughs> oh, no. Well, there goes our gymnasium. But my cornerstone with Clara Anderson engraved on it. You mean you're not going to use it now? Oh, we can't afford to waste anything now. We'll use it for the smaller building we plan to build around in the back. <laughs> oh, no, Dean, don't do that. Well, why not? What kind of a building is it? For Mrs. Anderson. I want to know what kind of a building it is. Mrs. Anderson, don't get excited. Just think how proud you'll be when they burn the first load of garbage in the Clary Anderson Memorial incinerator. <laughs> Dennis Day will be back in just one minute to sing The Loveliness of You. But first... Dream girl, dream girl, beautiful luster cream girl, hair that gleams and glistens. 
from a luster cream shampoo. Yes, for soft, glamorous dream girl hair, try luster cream shampoo. Now in convenient tubes or jars, whichever you prefer. Luster cream shampoo leaves hair with a new three-way loveliness. Fragrantly clean, glistening with sheen, soft, easy to manage. Not a soap, not a liquid, but an utterly new, rich, lathering cream shampoo. A blend of secret ingredients plus lanolin. Four-ounce jar, one dollar. Smaller sizes, tubes or jars, 49 and 25 cents. Be a dream girl. A lovely, luster cream girl. Dream girl, dream girl. Beautiful, luster cream girl. You owe your crowning glory to a luster cream shampoo. Charles Dant and the orchestra. Here's Dennis to sing The Loveliness of You. Gentlemen, this is our last show of the present season, and I just want to take this opportunity to thank you all for allowing me to come into your homes each Wednesday night. We're going to take a short vacation now and return in the first week of September, and we hope that you'll be listening. Good night, and have a swell summer, everybody. See you in eight weeks. Dennis Day returns to the air again the first week in September. Meanwhile, may we remind you to use Colgate Dental Cream to clean your breath while you clean your teeth and Luster Cream Shampoo for soft, glamorous, dream girl hair. And don't miss the August issue of Movie Star Parade Magazine for a picture story of an episode in A Day in the Life of Dennis Day. Vern Smith speaking. Good night. This is NBC, the national broadcasting company.